Hello Sagittarius. This is your September 2019 reading. I'm going to do the Septembers because um, I'm getting a little behind. I do remember that I think I promised you a bonus and I'll still give that. I'm trying to get everything together. I'm also going to recommend another um, reader. He's actually an astrology uh, chart reader and he does tarot but I don't know much about his tarot but his, I know his astrology is really spot on. That would be the sunny side. You can look up his channel. And I had him read my chart twice and my daughter's chart. So if I can trust him with my daughter's chart, I can recommend him to my channel people. You know, my followers, subscribers, and those watching. But this is for Sagittarius for September 2019. Full Celtic Cross. The energy is coming in for Sagittarius. Or those born under the sign of Sagittarius are dominant in their chart. I've noticed it can resonate with a lot of people. And other times it doesn't resonate, will not resonate with everyone. Let's see what we got here coming in. The world, something ending, karmic cycles ending, things that are negative, um, and new things coming in. It also could be where you're at right now is gonna start taking off whatever you're planning. So think about that. But that's just what's coming in. I gotta, I gotta put the spread out. Two of Swords in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse is uh, somebody possibly putting their swords down. Someone seeing things for how they are. Someone ready to see things for how they are now. And it kind of, you know, I can see where the world card would come in with that. It has to do with heartbreak and sorrow. Really surprised to see that. But it's like you're seeing things now clearly that something that was involved with heartbreak with you <clears throat> could have to do with, you know, someone you were involved with, of course. Something that pierced your heart. Now you're finally seeing it. You're finally coming into realization um, what went down. And now maybe that's what reason why the world card is there. You're starting a new cycle in life. I lose my voice. I may have to get up and get something to drink. Or I may have to cut this off and go back, but I don't like to. The Empress was what you crowned you are the goal. Growth. Time to grow. Time to um, manifest in a way with the Empress or, or take your blessings, you know? <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I just drank some. <coughs> Four of Cups, the foundation. <coughs> Four of Cups, the foundation. In reverse, so you're going to reject something. Someone will offer you something, okay, Sag? They're going to offer you something. And you may reject it altogether. You may say, you know, I got my hopes in elsewhere. And it, like I said, it could be from someone that you had a relationship that broke your heart. You're seeing things for how they are. It was a karmic cycle, and now things are turning in a different direction for you. In the past, the Ace of Rods in reverse. No passionate beginning. New beginning with someone. So it looks like, you know, you finish something out. It does. You finish something out. Coming in, ooh, Ten of Pentacles in the upright. I love the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. The Ten of Pentacles in the upright is about getting overall stability. Ugh. Going for your overall stability. Getting there. Aiming towards it, actually getting it with the Ten of Pentacles. It'll be different for everybody, but it's a great card. It is something you are aiming for. And it looks like something may come in, especially when I keep on thinking of that world card. But remember, I'm going to clarify these cards. I'm going to change up the story and make it very interesting. So stick with me. Possible future outcome or advice from the universe is the Knight of Swords. So it could be some of you getting the energy up to move about again and get on your way and doing the things you need to do, you could be taking on this energy. Or some of you could be down with an uh, air sign. Now, I do not associate, I do not assign one sign to um, the court cards because there's, I'm just dealing with too many people. And it's different when you're reading for the masses. So the Knight of Swords can be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And there's someone, you know, that has a lot of energy to get something done, done a lot of, you know, um, intelligence to go for, go forward with something. What is coming towards you, you may get a 
little hasty or nasty message from somebody can be a fire sign but not necessarily a page to me is often like someone young at heart or um you know they're with a fiery type energy it also could be it could be a fire sign it could be aries leo sagittarius but i see someone sending a message and it's kind of abrupt and rude and i do see that ace of rods um there but maybe you're now seeing clearly because of the message you received from this person or situation and you were going for something else now a karmic cycle maybe you you know you had your say they had their say and a karmic cycle has ended and now stability and the world card is coming in your hopes and fears you're afraid of these messages you're afraid of getting a message of love or you know that's fake with the page of cups in reverse some of you can be dealing with a pisces cancer or scorpio but not necessarily like i said it's in reversal it's an emotional message it's kind of messed up in a way in the end the fool you're not going to take a leap of faith with this person the fool card is someone who takes when they do take a leap of faith it's going to be done very carefully they're just not going to leap let me i should have said that they're not just going to leap they're going to um be very careful in the next step. And it looks like you are going for your stability. You ended a karmic cycle and growth and blessings are now coming in. It, it depends on you and how you accept it. You will be getting a message that's kind of hateful, I'm not going to lie, uh, rude from somebody. But I think you're going to be okay. And you kind of, in a way, fear this message or fear... Um, to accept something that's like a fake message, you know, when someone says they care and they love you, and but their actions show differently, you know. So let's go back to, and hopefully I don't have a coughing fit, and I'll have to cut it off again because I just can't talk. Something in the air. But we got the Two of Swords in reverse and the Three of Swords crossing it. With the Two of Swords <clears throat> in reverse, I told you what that was about. Maybe you're laying down your sword, seeing things how they are with a heartbreaking situation. You come to realization. So why are you there? Two of swords in reverse with the three of swords crossing it. Why are you there? Lover. Has something to do with a lover. Someone you were bound to. Sometimes it has to do with more than just one person, you know? So the two of swords in reverse, three of swords crossing it. The lovers clarifying why are you there for Sagittarius. And, re and regaining independence and regaining um, stability. Again, with the Nine of Pentacles, going for that overall stability, which it looks like you're going to do. But you're going to, you know, still feel that old pang of heartbreak a little bit. But at least you, you know, you know, you're moving on. You know, you'll be okay, Sagittarius. You will. And for those of you that, you know, hurt somebody else and maybe broke their heart, maybe they're moving on. We can go vice versa. But the Empress in the upright is what crowns you or your goal. And sometimes manifestations, it can be the outcome also. But the Empress is, is full of growth and blessings and um, nurturing. I love the Empress. You know, every time I see that, I know something good is coming and I will feel better about myself and the situation around me. So the Empress in the upright, while you're there, for Sagittarius, is what with their goal or what crowns them. So... Yeah, messages will come in and things will start moving again. Some of you may travel. Some of you may move. Something good's coming in. <clears throat> so the Empress, Eight of Wands, both in the upright. What crowns? Sagittarius, why you're there. Page of Swords. Even though you may be getting these messages that cut like a knife sometimes to you, don't let it get to you because you're still moving forward. You will hear messages that someone may not like the fact that um, you are moving on or getting um, better things are coming to you or that you're going for better things. They, they may try to, I do believe they're going to try to send you a message, but you're holding steady and strong. You're holding steady and strong because I see as a foundation, the four of cups. Hopefully I don't start choking again right about here, but it's like you're turning something down. Someone offers you something and you just thumb your nose up at it because it's not good enough. Whatever they're often offering you, it's not good enough for you. That's what you're thinking. So the four of cups in reverse while you're there for Sagittarius as the foundation. Yeah, page of cups. Yeah, because the, it's, it's not very sincere with the page of cups in reverse. It's over here and it's over here. It's your fear of it. You know, you're, you're, you're saying that's not even, it's not real. It's not real. So someone may offer you something 
or maybe if even if you're thinking if they offer me something I'm not going to accept it because it's probably going to be a bunch of you know BS so the four of cups page of cups both in reverse is a foundation for Sagittarius why are you there oops it wants to come out Queen of Wands that's you Queen of Wands Aries Leo Sagittarius someone taking on their crown and doing it well yeah you're gonna rule well you're you're getting serious now it's no more you know give and take for you you're taken and and you deserve to take it apparently because you suffered a lot of heartbreak now the ace of rods in the past is in reverse passionate beginning did not happen or it was really not what you were what you were expecting again I'm thinking some of you people may have said something and then it it was all like fabrication you know fiction so ace of rods in reverse why are you there for Sagittarius in the past good card yeah yeah something came to a halt and and you're saying no no I'm not gonna do this no more this is not the passionate new energy I want so the ace of rods in reverse the death card in the upright in the past why are you there for Sagittarius so some of you did end something could have to do with a um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in the past, or someone with very sharp words, or someone that didn't know, um, didn't show intelligence in how they talked to you, or how they presented themselves to you, and you may cut them off, or they cut you off, but don't you worry, because that pain is leaving, it will leave, <clears throat> and blessings are now coming in, Ten of Pentacles, in the upright, in the very near future, why are you there? Sagittarius in the very near future the moon yeah you're going into something else because something comes out and you're gonna say or you're gonna do go into something else that's more secure stable and what you're wanting and you may get it with the ten of Pentacles it's actually finishing out something and getting what you're wanting overall stability <clears throat> so you do arrive excuse me <clears throat> I'm going to stop and get another drink I'm sorry about that I don't have it near me I should but the ten of Pentacles in the upright the moon in reverse in the very near future for Sagittarius why are you there it may be a little difficult for you but I do see you end in this cycle that's a six of swords in reverse usually it means moving on from troubled waters and you will but you it's like you you're having trouble doing it but you do it if that makes any sense because something comes out you're going through the motions but it is happening and it's at least it's movement and 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 don't worry about what someone says to you someone else may be having tr little trouble themselves also it could be an outside situation where they'll say something to you and try to upset you and they'll say things that for some of you you didn't know before and all of a sudden they want to tell you about it to hurt you in a little bit but don't let that you know keep your eye on the prize Sagittarius keep your eye on the prize so possible future outcome and advice from the universe the knight of swords and i already told you what that was about i'm going to clarify that knight of swords is a possible future outcome or advice from the universe why are you there for sagittarius yeah i don't know if you want to go for this mm. i got to have another card that's a knight of swords with the ten of swords with it i'm thinking someone's going to come to you with an offer could be an air sign or someone with sharp words or not really sharp words but they get to the point of the matter and it may be some betrayal but then again it could be the universe saying go for the knight of swords because you, before you suffer betrayal but I don't think so I need another card <clears throat> knight of swords ten of swords both in the upright for Sagittarius I'm trying to feel the energy here king of cups in reverse if you choose somebody in your life make sure they're compatible with you and you know you know to do that if you run a synastry a synastry chart is someone you, you run with somebody you know you get their birthday and you see if they're compatible and it will show a lot of times if they're going to betray you because I'm thinking you're going to have a couple of choices here and I'm thinking someone from the past is still going to try to send you messages but also the universe is saying move forward with the knight of swords don't go back to the that emotional situation with the king of cups which could be a, a water sign doesn't have to be but someone also over emotional 
that you were dealing with that had the Ten of Swords energy, which is betrayal, you know, being stabbed in the back. So if it's, a, I think it's advice from the universe, go forward with intelligence, because the Knight of Swords in the upright is usually intelligent, and they go for what they're wanting. And do not focus on emotional situations that you have dealt with, that you will get messages that stabbed you in the back, if that if that makes any sense. Because in the outside environment over here, you do get a message of some sort. And I did see some messages coming in. But I don't think you're going to let it get to you. But you might if you, if you don't be careful. So just be careful. That's what the universe is saying. Don't let them get to you. Don't, don't set yourself up to be stabbed in the back again, in other words. So the Page of Rods is in reverse. And it's what is coming towards you, the outside environment. Barely hasty messages, rude, abrupt, um, you know, all kind of things. It also could be a younger type fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Page of Rods in reverse while you're there for Sagittarius. Yeah, this person, ooh, that's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They may try to cost you, you know, or this message. So it's going to try to knock it away from you. Don't let that happen. So this is the warning. This is why we do our tarot, is to um, get warnings so we don't step into this. It says growth is coming. It says end a karmic cycle so you can get, regain your independence and your overall stability wherever you're leading to. But don't let a message come in and mess it all up for you. What was your, your last your your last month or the last reading? Was it something getting in your head? Don't let them get in your head, okay? So, Page of Rods, Ten of Pentacles in reverse as the outside environment or what is coming towards you. You know, Sagittarius, while you're there. Don't let those messages get to you from the King of Swords. You have the Queen of Swords, King of Swords over here. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Again, someone was really sharp words. This one's to the point. This one's sharp words and not very intelligent at all times. And they're trying to hurt you, okay? They're trying to hurt you in some way, emotionally, I think. You know, they not just emotionally, mentally, so be careful. Now, your hopes and fears, this wants to come out. I'm going to let it. Yeah, your, your hopes and fears and manifestations also. Page of Cups, and you got the Ace of Wands, and it's over there in the past. You're fearing this, this message that's a lie. Oh, I love you, baby. You know, I'm sorry. I've changed. And, you know, you know, I'm just giving you examples. And you're like, yeah, right. You know, I'm fearing this. I don't believe it. So Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, both in reverse while you're there for Sagittarius. Yeah, and you're not you're not wanting to fight with anybody. You got the five of swords in reverse because you know if you start talking to this person again for some of you, it can get ugly. You no, know? so you don't want that. So in the end, you got the fool in reverse, and the fool in the re reverse is someone who's going to take things a little bit carefully. They're not just going to jump into any old thing without looking first. So, oops, yep, here's uh, this is starting to come out. I'm going to let it. The world card. I don't know which order it came in. Well, it did. I'm thinking the world card was in the middle. So it's you don't want to be trapped up again. And you may drop a situation. You got the world card twice. It coming in energy. I'm going to let it come out. I'm going to show you. I think it came out more like this. So we got to tell the story in order. Otherwise, it gets all messed up. The fool card. You're not jumping into anything else again because you don't like that trap feeling. You'll say, it'll make me trapped with the eight of, eight of swords. It'll get to me. Because you got a karmic cycle ending and new beginnings coming out. Something has ended and now something new is going to begin. And with the two of pentacles, with the two of pentacles in reverse, is someone literally dropping the ball on something or saying, I got to move on to better horizons, better things, to regain my stability, my wealth, my independence. But someone like I said, it's going to try to get in the way, but you know that. So the Fool card, Eight of Swords, the World in the Upright, Two of Pentacles in reverse while you're there. For Sagittarius in the very end, I see that, that you are going on to something else, even though there's a little imbalance there. It's going to happen, but you're going to feel a little, you know, shaky over it. You're going to feel a little insecure, maybe, or the people around you are. You're going to be dealing with a little unbalance with probably other people around you also. 
something that something that had ended someone you had ended something with is going to try to get under your skin just let it go and go for your wealth because it's promised to you if you go for it but if you let them get in your head it could cause a big disruption universe saying go forward to something and don't let outsiders take away your ten of pentacles which i don't think you do i don't think you're going to do because i see that world card twice that something is moving on whether we like it or not now in the end we got the three of swords in reverse we just had that earlier it is in reverse and yes i read reversals so um very uh, you know i believe in them uh the three of swords in reverse you are overcoming heartbreak but you're still feeling a little bit because you know you're going through the motions but you're moving on it's 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 easing up it doesn't hurt as bad as it did when it first began where they really you know you really got you know messed over but it's saying here you know you're going to still feel the little you know little pain here and there a little you know tinge of it but you are overcoming it you are healing and you're going into something new something prosperous something that you will like okay so don't worry about the past go forward okay sagittarius and life will be better okay i'm gonna let this go i'll talk to you later